Hello and welcome to Retro Gaming, where we take a look at games from the past and see if they are as much fun now or better left to our nostalgia. And a special welcome to the first series on this channel, where we will be looking at one of my favorite games from my childhood, The Zumbinis. I'm Jeff, and I will be the voice behind the series, so let's start things off with the intro and find out why we are on this logical journey. Not too long ago, Zumbinis enjoyed the good life. Though they all looked slightly different, different eyes, noses, hair, feet, such differences meant nothing to the Zumbinis. And so they lived happily on Zumbini Isle, making small useful products which were prized the world over. The Zumbinis had a sense of fulfillment and inner peace, not to mention healthy bank accounts. Then one day, who should show up but the bloats? The bloats offered to help the Zumbinis grow their businesses, expand their trade routes, and improve their quality of life. Being trusting sorts, the Zumbinis agree. But before long, the bloats had taken over everything. Stealing profits, canceling holidays, Piling on work. The Zumbinis were getting pretty stressed out. Well, you can push them only so far before they take matters into their own hands, uh, so to speak. So they decided to escape and build a new home in a distant land. So we have the adventure of the Zumbinis upon us. The bloats, those evil, evil bloats, have stolen all of our goods and all of our healthy bank accounts, and we now need to settle in a new land. For those unfamiliar with the series, the Zumbinis, as said by the friendly narrator, are a trusting sort as defined by four characteristics. The Zumbinis' hair, their eyes, nose color, and their feet. These four uh, items combined to make each Zumbini unique. Now, just for the sake of time, I'm going to randomize all of them, and in each traveling group, as you will see, there are 16 Zumbinis. That means 16 Zumbinis in each trek as they go across this logical journey. And it is called that because along the way we will find different logic puzzles that we have to solve in order to get to this wonderful new land at the other side. Now I'm not going to ruin the name of it because quite frankly it is one of the favorite things I remember about this game is what the narrator does for that. So stick with us and we will get there. We have 16 Zubinis, now let's cast off. I'm not going to interrupt the narrator for this first time through, so please enjoy. After days tossed about by a stormy sea, the Zumbinis reach the shore of a peculiar land. The first challenge we have in front of us is the Allergic Cliffs. Two bridges, and as you can see, faces below the cliffs, where if you get it wrong, they sneeze and send you back to the other side. Send too many wrong Zumbinis across, and the bridges fall, leaving those behind <laughs> that you will then have to try again to get across. 
Now, of course, right off the bat, we get a Zumbini on the wrong bridge. But since there's only two options, we now know exactly where this one can go. Hmm. They divide it based on one trait, so I'm thinking... I can send this guy along the same bridge to isolate if it's eyes or nose. Okay. So it's either hair or feet. If I send you across, then it's clearly based on hair? Ah. So since she was not rejected, I'm guessing all springs can go across here. And we shall see if fan... Uh, now we're going to do bikes. Let's do bikes. I should have gone with the fans. Episode 1 and I'm already seeing the curse of Let's Play. Now, I decided to do Zumbinis at this point because of a Kickstarter that I was able to support where they did this HD remake and released the Zumbinis on Steam. Again, it's one of my favorite games from my childhood and I am so glad to see the recreation of this game for a new generation. So that leads me to think about what do you guys remember about the Zumbinis if you've played them before? Do you have a favorite challenge or puzzle that you had to solve? Uh, did you play this one or did you play the second Zumbinis game, Mountain Rescue? And I, if anyone from the Kickstarter winds up watching this, I hope that you make it, uh, that you do a remake How of the second one. How fortunate for Zumbinis that you are their guide! Woo! All 16 are across. So let's move on to puzzle number two. These stone guards have their rules, so do proceed with skill. Zumbini's one guard won't allow, the other guard surely will. They're back! Welcome! Hmm. So for this challenge, uh, the two stone guards on the left and right, the darker colored ones, will divide Zumbinis along the same trait, and then the top and bottom eat, have their own trait that they will decide which Zumbinis to allow. Again, you kind of have to start randomly, and we'll see what happens. One of the chosen few. Okay. Now the only thing changing here is the hair, so if this person gets rejected, we know the hair is what's wrong. Okay. It's not based on hair. Is it eyes and feet? Sorry, pal! Now in theory, it still could actually be hair. Okay. It could be hair and just all of... The mohawk people are all, I guess technically it's a flat top, but it looks like a mohawk to me. I've always thought of them that way. Go over on the left Kinda side. Kinda slow, ain't ya? One of the chosen few. Whereas the little spriggy hair, huh. I guess, if you guys have another mm -hmm. name for them, <laughs> please feel free to put this in the comments and I will refer to them as such, but spriggy <laughs> hairs and ponytails. All One of the, the chosen right. few. Go ahead, go ahead. Now, You'll as we go, go through, one thing that I love as a detail is that each zoom beam gets their own name. Ice me? Eh. Okay. Step in. Go ahead, go ahead. Now, Step this is just in. me testing a theory that only the Mohawk flat top, whatever you want to call them, are on the top left, whereas everyone else goes into the top right. He sounded very happy with that. And now that's hip, hip, two puzzles zumbini! down. Hip, hip, zumbini! You've done quite well. How delightful. And so our brave travelers continue on through this dusty wasteland until they meet Arno, the almost omnivorous, 
one very hungry pizza troll. Fleens? You're not fleens. Huh. Whatever you are, make me a pizza! The narrator is a wonderful guide. He said almost omnivorous. This pizza troll wants a very specific kind of pizza. We have five ingredients and a limited number of choices, or a limited number of chances to get it right. If we don't give him exactly the pizza he wants, even if we give him an ingredient or two that he does want, he'll start booting Zumbinis back to the very beginning, and we'll have to go and fetch them later on. So let's just start with something simple. A cheese pizza. And see what he has to say about that. More, 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 more. Okay, he wants more toppings. Hmm, is he in a Hawaiian type of mood with pineapple? Now this will change every time, so you're kind of something must go. You're kind of shooting in the dark here, although since we've only only eaten one topping, we know the pineapple is no good. Yet we'll keep the cheese. And now this is my favorite uh, pepperoni pie. More. Okay. Let's add some mushrooms to the mix. He's omnivorous, so we'll give him dairy, meat, and vegetables. More! So really the only thing he didn't want was pineapple. Okay. Oh! My! Pizza! with hot soup all ready to eat? Looks like a fine place for Zumbinis to relax. But when they're ready to move on, they'll need a group of 16 along the path. Again, as the narrator is so apt to mm -hmm. inform us, the Zumbinis are a group of 16 whenever they venture forward. If we were to have lost anybody, mm -hmm. the rest of the Zumbinis would go into the cubbies that you see in the back wall there, and we would need to wait until we got uh, 16 of them all together at this point to continue up or down. What awaits for us along the path? What is the name of the new land that the Zumbinis are going to be venturing to, uh, settling on? And which way should I go, up or down? We'll find all this out next time on Retro Gaming. Thank you so much, and ta-ta for now.